All right, we're we're rolling. We're rolling. Hey, rolling. this is like the after special Christmas special, right? After Christmas special. This That's is right. nice. Yeah. Um, well, this is after the school special. After Christmas I'm, special. Both. A very special episode of That's right. the Something About Nothing podcast. That's right. We are something about <laughs> nothing, and thank you for joining us. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Yeah, nice twenty degrees or twenty one degrees outside. Yeah, yeah. So this is nice. Yeah. <clears throat> How the was sun's shining a little bit. Not too bad. How's your week? It was good. Good, good. week. Good week. Good. Nice Christmas. Awesome. You know, so it's a little weird day for us t- today. We're yeah, it's I like know. A, what is a Wednesday afternoon? Yeah, I, I was totally when you when you texted me earlier saying, uh, "Hey, Mike, uh, one o'clock," and I'm thinking, "What's Tuesday?" And <laughs> and so yeah, it's not. It's so anyway. Yeah. So my trash gets picked up on Monday, which would have been Christmas. Yeah. Well, they don't pick up on Christmas. Um, so Tuesday all day. Uh, okay. So they, in, if they don't pick it up on mon- Monday, they're going to pick it up on Wednesday. Yeah. Just what the city does. Um, so all day Tuesday, I put the trash out, <laughs> kept thinking, why aren't they picking up my trash? Why aren't they? And then I realized when my wife got home, oh, no, no, this is Tuesday. This is not Wednesday. So now, and now, I, now it's Wednesday and you thought it was Tuesday. Yeah. So that made my day. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah, I know. And then I texted you last night about chili and I wanted some more. Uh, yeah, you did. Yeah. I've been doing a lot of like, uh, like I, I wasn't going to address it. I was going to let it roll. I yeah, thought just after that, Mike I said, wants more chili. Um, you yeah. Know, well, yeah, that's a personal problem. Yeah, it, it really is. <laughs> <laughs> I was dressing my wife. I was trying to compliment her saying, Man, this is really good. I like to have some more, you know, compliment yeah. her to make some more. But yeah, this yeah, I'm off this week. The kids are off this week and it's weird, isn't it? Yeah, it's strange. Yeah. It I, is really strange. I had Christmas off and then the next two days I gotta go work tomorrow. Yeah, it's odd. Then I'm working Chris er, uh, New Year's Eve and New Year's Day. Are you serious? Yep. And they've already told me that I'm covering opening night, which is a big event here in Oklahoma City. Yeah. And uh so I'm gonna be up till Midnight. Oh my goodness! After midnight, <coughs> mm-hmm. and uh, it's going to be frigid. <laughs> oh, it's going to be cold. Yeah, <laughs> and then I have to be at work nine o'clock the next morning. Wow. Yeah, that'll be fun. Wow. Oh, but good days. Good days. Well, that's good times. Uh, good times. Um, well, we had an opportunity uh, last week to go see the Last Jedi. Yes, we did. We, I mean, we got to see it together. It was I know it's cool. awesome. I like that. And uh, what uh, did you what? Uh, so, do we give our spoiler alert right uh, now? I think. Well, I mean, I don't think anybody's watching or listening, but but yeah, well, but yeah, we can make it a we can make it a like spoiler free kind of deal. Can we do spoiler free? Yeah, I'll try to. I'm gonna <laughs> say spoiler alert alert uh, alert because I'm. I will try very hard not to give anything out because i'm one of those people yeah whatever let's just go for it okay spoiler alert spoiler alert Spoiler alert. we're just not even gonna worry about it okay so if you're listening and you have not seen the last jedi go see it and then come back and listen to our podcast yeah please please listen to our podcast yeah please 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 we're kind of begging yeah pretty much uh so what did you think what did you think of the movie you know your entertainment, I enjoyed it. I thought it was good. I, I enjoyed I, I it. Did. I did um, enjoy it. You know, uh, I'm starting to get a feel. and un- Yeah, let's party. Hold on, pause that. Yeah, that's okay. This is Ricky. He's known as Ricky Pope. That was his fan club, president of his fan club. Yeah, sorry about that, guys. I'm on call, so every time yeah. my phone rings, I have to answer it, and I've got a yeah. A few people at my office do not have Oklahoma phone numbers. Oh, they don't. Yeah. So I, you know, yeah, I've got. That's okay. The, one girl has a DC phone number, and so uh, just sorry about that. No, that's okay. It's, we'll, so we'll, we'll make we, it into a game. We'll, shall we cut this out? Oh no! It's no, just, just let's let it, not let it just girl. let's make yeah. it happen. That was a robo call, so that kind of makes me mad. Yeah, that's no good. Okay, so worry about you it. were saying you 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 pure enjoyment. You yeah, liked the I pure enjoyment. I like it. I was. Uh, I mean, I'm starting to really get to know the characters. I like yeah. the characters. I'm. I like Ray. She's awesome. Ray is great. Uh, she is perfect for that role. Yep. Uh, the guy who plays Finn. He's he's coming into play. Um, you know, you're starting. Um, Poe, you're starting to get a little more of who he is because in the beginning you had no clue. You're starting to kind of get. 
was kind of a mentorship between him and Leia. So yep. you're, you're seeing some of that. Uh, yeah, it's, it was really good. I enjoyed it. I mean, the deal is uh, you can sit down and nitpick it all you want to the point where you can just go, I don't like it. But, <laughs> I mean, you know what I'm saying. You think? Yeah. I, but, I think you can do that to any movie. But it's tr- true, and I really enjoyed it. Uh, you know, there's been a lot of uh, stuff on Twitter and on the on the web where you got some hardcore that's, you know, having some issues with it. Haters. I, yeah, and, I mean, well, you heard uh, Mark Hamill. He he made a uh, he did he made some comments and then he retracted it. He he did. Yeah, he, which I don't believe. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> at all. He did not like how <laughs> Han not Han but how Luke was portrayed. Uh, you know, I I gotta say, there. All right, so we already said spoiler alert. Yeah, there you so, go. So you so guys are aware again, folks. Okay, so back to a conversation we had about. Um, the Force Awakens was kind of a rehash of um, A New Hope. Yeah. Okay. So, um, you know, there's a good bit of of Empire happening. Oh, Empire yeah. Empire Strikes Back happening in The Last Jedi. Yeah, it is. And, and I think... I think people have... It's been so long since they watched empire yeah that people forgot how goofy and weird yoda really was yeah exactly and i think luke doesn't i I think mark hamill yeah has probably not watched that movie in 30 years no and he he should have he he should have gone back and watched it because he was going to be the he was he was going to be the yoda yeah. And they made him the Yoda. Yeah. And they made him weird and goofy. Yeah. They did. Yeah, they did. Straight up. They made him weird and goofy. Well, you know, you're a hermit living on an island. You're going to get weird and goofy. Yeah. Mr. That being Wilson. Said, yeah. yeah. That being said, I think there were a couple things they pushed a little too far um, that were a little too awkward. But still, I, yeah. I think I think it kind of it it made a little circular sense in going okay luke you've now come full circle now you are no longer the the learner you are the weird master living on a living in the middle of nowhere you are the little hermit guy that is trying to steal the flashlight and beating up r2 with a stick exactly that's you (laughs) yeah you become that yeah yeah there's some i mean there was really some good uh fodder on that you know yeah uh, like I said, this is a spoiler. You know, I really like the part where, you know, uh, Ray convince um, Luke to join to help through uh, something that happened in New Hope. R two D two gave a yeah. hologram of that was a great Obi one. That was a great callback. Yeah, and I love that. And you know, and here he is. You know, yeah, that's how he got involved. Which, which I think is it, it's funny. It's um. It Luke definitely is getting to be Yoda and Ben yeah. Kenobi at the same time. Yeah, exactly. It, he is he is Yoda and Obi Wan wrapped together. I I liked. I mean, I thought Mark Hamill was great in it. Oh, I think he did a fantastic job. Yeah, he did a great job. He played the cranky master just well. Oh yeah, you absolutely. I mean? and, and I really do think you know. The, see the thing, and I was looking it up. You know, he. Uh, Mark Hamill, he had a he expressed a strong reaction to the first reading of the script, and he was initially, you know, he disagreed, and I think he didn't like how he didn't. I, from my understanding, he did not he did not like how the the Jedi, you know, Luke would he said Luke would never end up on an island, and Luke would never end up, <laughs> you know, giving up on the Force and blah blah blah. But Yoda, that's Yoda, all. I'm <laughs> that's all I'm saying is Yoda. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, I mean, I really think they, and I like how they made reference to Han, you know, yeah. you know how Han is, you know, uh, yeah. it was, you know, I think I kind of Han. Yeah. The guy, you know, he that played the, uh, what is the name of the main antagonist? Um, oh, Kylo. Kylo. Kylo Ren. Yeah. Yeah. I think he did. He's doing a great job. 
Oh, yeah. fantastic actor. Fantastic job. Fantastic actor. He's uh he's got the creepiest, weirdest emo character in the world and he nails it. Yeah, that's awesome. It really is. And I don't know, I really enjoyed it. Like I said, you can you can pick it apart if you want to. Oh, absolutely. It is a beautiful movie. Oh, yes, it is. Oh my gosh. It is shot so well. It is. It is gorgeous. I you know what? I if you can play John Williams at a flea market and it's beautiful. <laughs> you can play yeah, John, John Williams. John Williams' music I can mean, make any anything, movie yeah, be fantastic. I, it is. You, I you so can, agree. You can work for waste management, and you feel like you're destined for something great. Yeah, that is that is so yeah. accurate. So, <laughs> I, so anytime when I'm down and I feel like I've screwed up, John Williams. John Williams all the way. That's I, right. I'm right there with you, my friend. I think um, my... Biggest issue with the movie, and, mm-hmm. and this is nitpicky. This is a little yeah, nitpicky. that's fine. We, is we're allowed. There were some things that were a little too on the nose. Yeah. Okay. So like, White Planet with walkers. Yeah. Okay. We all knew it wasn't snow. Yeah. We all knew it was some kind of weird desert with red dirt. Yeah. We didn't have to have somebody lick the ground and say, oh, it's salt. Somebody somewhere said, how are they going to know it's a salt planet unless we tell them? That's that, it was, that, was, that is the kind of thing that I think is a mistake in a movie. When there's somebody who doesn't know anything about Star Wars yeah. says, well, we have to tell them that. No, no, you don't have to tell no, us everything. You don't. And you know what? Uh, honestly, I will watch a movie a second time, and I'll catch something that I didn't see before. That's what, that's what makes it great. Oh, yeah. And, and you know, you got to think about this. You know, don't talk down to your audience. Exactly. I, I can't stand that. You know, you don't need to tell me everything. And uh, well, it, Like the, um, okay, so they're going to go to a casino planet. That was weird to me. That that whole thing was a that was storyline was a little weird. It, it, the whole thing was awkward. Yeah, but it, but it's like we're gonna go to the casino planet. People are kind of nasty there. Well, it's a casino planet. You yeah. don't have to tell us it's nasty there. Yeah, have you been to Vegas? That place is nasty. It is nasty. <laughs> I mean, it's. I mean, yeah, cause, like it or I mean, not, got, Vegas is an is a cool place sometimes. Yeah. But, you go out on the street at um, uh, eight in the morning, mm-hmm. and it is the trashiest city <laughs> in the world. You know, I don't like doing my business in the stall, and a guy right next to me has a slot machine. Okay, <laughs> washing his hands and and pulling the slots. Okay, that's not cool. <laughs> so, so, but I I think there were several things in the movie that were just too in the in the in movie making we call it too on the nose. Yeah, it was just like you didn't have to tell us that. No. I mean. We're smart enough to figure that out. Well, I mean, the Star Wars fan, I mean, you know they're going to go see it. Oh, yeah. I mean, no matter what, they're going to go see it. Oh, absolutely. And, and they, they did. Yeah. Like 800,000. Oh, man. Yeah. Eight, the box 800 office. million now. Yeah. And, it's ridiculous. And really, uh, you know, looking through online, Rotten Tomatoes, and, and as far as uh, critical acclaim. Criti- they, oh, critics loved it. They loved it. Yeah. I mean, uh, you know, and then I, like I said, there's some folks on Twitter that, you know, they were talking about, you know, one guy was kind of neat. Uh, I'm not going to mention his name on Twitter. He said the biggest, most obvious point in The Last Jedi is the lesson of letting go of the past and moving forward. A yep. lot of folks who didn't like the movie probably can't let go of the old series. <laughs> well, I mean, that's pretty. Yeah. I mean, that uh, was, that's, that's very observant. Yeah. The, the other the other takeaway, I think, is, and probably my favorite takeaway is Ray. Saying her family, her parents were nothing. Yeah, I, I came from nobody. Yeah, um, I think that is brilliant, and I, I've read of several people who who said um, that feels like a throwback to a New Hope yeah. because Luke appeared to come from nothing. Yeah, exactly. Now later on, we found out. Oh no, it's a family bloodline. Blah 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 blah. Yeah, you know. Um, but the reason we liked New Hope initially was. Farm boy from nowhere saves the universe. Yeah, exactly. And now we've got junk stealer, junk seller from nowhere saves the universe. 
And I think we all kind of we all kind of dig that. It's like I'm nobody, she's nobody. She did amazing things. Maybe I can do something amazing someday. Yeah, you know, and then here and you have your haters, you know, on Twitter. You have only people who don't know Star Wars think The Last Jedi, Jedi was a good movie. And, you know, you're going to have haters. And, and yeah. But I, I really like the tweet from the first guy. I mean, because yep. you think about it, is a, not because of Disney. It is a new Star Wars. There's new yes. characters. There's You're saying goodbye to the old Guardians. Yep. Saying hello to the new. Yep. And it's going to be different. I saw one where um, someone was saying that, they, uh, you know, they thought there was too much um, humor in it. They had too much, some joking around, I, some I humor. Can, I can appreciate that comment. I, I don't know that I agree that there was too much humor. Yeah, I think some of the humor was too. It was a little goofy. Yeah, I you know, know. Yeah, there there could have been humor that was a little less uh, in your face. Yeah, funny. Mm-hmm. No, I mean, somebody somebody posted uh, recently. I think it was on. I think it was a Facebook post. Uh, he was giving his unspoiled alert uh, uh, review, yeah. and he said one of his comments was, "Were porgs only created to sell merchandise? Yes. Yeah. Do I care? No. No. <laughs> the porgs were funny. They were yeah. cute. Yeah, it was funny. You know, they're like the pigeons of." the the planet remind <laughs> me they remind me of the tribbles they they the star trek <laughs> yes. you know they were everywhere they were everywhere they got the into the yeah. ship somehow <laughs> yeah that was good that was that was that was a brilliant idea um definitely that's a disney we need to sell some toys so yeah. let's make something cute but you know they blended in okay it, they blended in okay and they weren't so Jar Jar Binks that it was oh, bad. Oh, my goodness. Which, yeah. Okay, now I'm going to throw this out there, all the haters. I didn't hate Jar Jar Binks. You didn't? Jar Jar Binks was the comic relief in that movie. Okay. There were lots of other reasons to hate that movie. Oh, no. I mean. <laughs> other than Jar Jar Binks. But he was the comic relief for the movie. Yeah. So we don't have a Jar Jar Binks to be comic relief. So that means everybody else in the movie has to say something funny. Yeah. That's when you get, yeah. you know, is Kylo Ren got to say something funny? Well, you know, Skywalker, <laughs> it, well, you know, in New Hope, Skywalker was more serious. Yeah. Han was Han. You know, he he said, the, you know, his comments, you know. Yeah. You know, between him and Leia. He was brash. and Yeah. Yeah. It, and that's so. where the, yeah. And, and there were always the droids to be comic relief. Yeah. I always felt like Jar Jar Binks was kind of, because we... We were barely introduced to the droids in the first movie in in episode one. I always felt like Jar Jar Binks was kind of the replacement for the droids yeah. in episode one because the droids weren't as big an a an item yet in the first in that episode one. I remind you, it's a, I keep wanting to remind people this is spoiler alert. Okay, <laughs> but there was a part that really made, speaking of droids where uh, Princess Leia or General Leia looks at CP. Uh, C-3PO, yep. and said, get that expression off your face. That was brilliant. <laughs> I love that. See, now that is humor. That's that make It makes sense. sense. Yeah, It is the kind of humor that Star Wars fans think is really funny. Yeah. And it's really sharp. Yeah, it is. It's not... I, I, don't, I don't even know what the... I don't even know a funny part to mention right off the top yeah. of my head. But there were other ones that were just so in your well, okay. <sighs> the reach out moment oh, with the yeah. force. That yeah. was that was a little too much funny. That was like that was trying a little too hard. That was seemed a little karate kid to me. Yeah, yeah. It was a little too much. Yeah. Um, I think I think there could have been some funny there. Yeah. But maybe a little less. You know, he could have just swatted her hand and been done. Yeah. And that would have been funny, and yeah. that would have been sharp, and that would have made sense in the moment. Yeah. Rather than him making fun of her. Yeah, because Yoda did, you know, he was kind of a jokester. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Awesome. So, uh, but I, I did. I agree. I I liked the movie. There is plenty to dislike about the movie, but I thought overall it was pleasant. It was a good movie to watch. It was a good movie to take your uh, family to. Oh, and, absolutely. And, you know, unlike... 
uh, Return of the, unlike, sorry, unlike uh, Empire, there was a little bit of hope at the end. There was. And one of my favorite, and, and this is corny, this is canned, but I really like the end where the kid, he had the, he had the uh, resistant ring. Yes. And he, and he, he knew there was, yeah. And he force grabs the, the broom. Yeah. That's brilliant. That is, that's good. That's good. And I, that represents a whole new generation. Whole new generation. It doesn't have to be bloodline. No. It doesn't have to be the Anakin Skywalker saga. No. Okay, you know, we can move on from that, which I, I think that's a great thing. Well, I think we uh I think we Jedi'd out. Have we bas- bashed bashed that we, enough? Yeah. Oh, I think we did good. I don't think we Yeah. You know, I mean, give it up to Mark Hamill. He did a great Great job. I thought they all did really well. Th- yeah, I, I really do. I think they you did. Know, it. I, Carrie Fisher did great. Um, and uh, Ray is amazing. Um, Kylo Ren, is emo self, is pretty good. And the turn there. The turn on that, I honestly like, I'm, when I know you were trying to get away from it, but I honestly liked how that was not Empire. Yeah, I did too. How that was not an empire moment. That was a new moment. Yeah, exactly. And that you, that was brilliant. Yeah, it was good. Not like the first one. Had a little bit of Death Star to it. Yeah. Uh, but no, it was really good. I liked it. Um, like I said, I wonder what they're going to do with Carrie Fisher's character. I don't know. That's, uh, I mean, that was... Yeah, that's a big spoiler alert, I by the way. Was, if you haven't seen yeah. the movie, you need to see it right now and... And the Mary Poppins moment was a little and, lame, but yeah, and I really like, and I really liked how they, you know, pay tribute to her at the end. You know, yeah, that I was, did too. That was real classy. It was classy. I, I would personally, I would have rather seen them go ahead and and do away with Leia. Yeah, and have had Luke one more time. Yeah, exactly. I, I would too. That would make sense to me. Yeah. Um, I just, you know, they didn't. That, por- that way, you could give Luke. You can still give Luke the the Yoda moment. At yeah. The, you know, in the third movie. Yeah. Um, but uh, I think probably somebody said, "Okay, we're 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 too we we are we've done too many things already that are like the first three movies. Yeah. Let's stop now. <laughs> yeah, I understand. Well, you know, I mean, there was a point where Kylo had a decision: does he yeah. kill his mom or not? Yeah. And there, in some of it, they already show some of the redemption qualities. You yeah. know, he's fighting kind of yeah. like uh, Vader did. But of course, you know, Kylo is kind of doing it earlier in the film. You know, he's fighting right. that. So but that's interesting. Yeah, but I, I, I enjoyed it. I thought I it was too. good. I did too. I thought it was good time. Good times. Uh, good times. We got some. We got some uh, wacky you news. You got some weird news. Yeah, I some, like weird news. Give me some uh, weird news. Well, I'm gonna tell you what. You know, I mean, this is. This season, this past season, and the hardest working man I, I can think of is Santa himself. You know, this guy, <laughs> he got to put up with elves. He has to put up, you know, with reindeers. You know, he has, I mean, he has to make sure that they all manufacture toys by the end of the year, naughty and nice. I mean, it's a big responsibility. True, true. But uh, unfortunately, um, you know, we've got some folks uh, that really is... Um, well, I'm, I'll just let you know. They, they were talking about, you know, the Christmas season makes merry, but children should not leave sherry like the cooking sherry for Santa Claus this Christmas Eve. <laughs> because Sherry? Yes, because he's overweight, binge drinker, and risk of mental health problems. Head of the Royal College of GP has warned. And this is a real deal. This is not a... He says, Jolly Old Nick is famed... <laughs> Or <laughs> a round in, uh, stomach, rosy cheeks, and according to the children's poem, the night before Christmas keeps a pipe glued to his lips all the time. Professor <laughs> Helen Stokes Lampert, chairwoman of the RCGP, said his poor diet and lifestyle has left Santa at risk of a host of deliberating conditions. He says Santa, she says <laughs> Santa suffers from alcoholism, work-related stress, Gout and sleep, <laughs> <laughs> sleep deprivation. <laughs> sleep deprivation. Yeah, I can't even finish that. Oh, that's that. brilliant. Now, yeah. gout. You know, if he suffers from gout, I feel for him. I I've had too. that. I hate that's painful. That is. I've had some people I know. He, he, uh, he may even have contracted Lyme disease. 
Lyme from from the sp- yeah uh, disease from spreading too much spending too much time with his reindeers. Oh, which could have been in, infested in reindeer ticks. Yeah, you don't want that, and you know, and the pressure of working night shift would also have a uh, exact you know would have a heavy toll on his health. Um, he said, in fact, unless Santa gets a handle on his drinking, overeating, and lack of exercise, it could be the last year <laughs> we would be, dro- would be dropping <laughs> presents down the chimney. This would be, oh my goodness. wouldn't this be a great children's book? That would be brilliant. This is awesome. Yeah, so. Uh, Sorry, kids. Yeah, St. Nick. Santa had a heart attack last this, night. Yeah, this is the last, this is last, yeah. Uh, but Professor Strokes Lampert offered advice on how Father Christmas uh, could shed pounds by running between houses rather than taking a ride on his sleigh. <laughs> running Santa, between houses. Yeah, she says Santa uh, should run between houses to keep fit. So, oh, yeah. ho, 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 there we go. That's funny. Is that nice? That was, that's brilliant. She's, yeah. And then later on she talks about how Mrs. Claus is, you know, is patient and, and all that good stuff, but um, I'm done. <laughs> Done bagging the man. There bagging you go. the man. What else you got? And this is kind of different. Um I don't, you know, I don't like the beginning of the title, but size matters. Florida man arrested. Well, that. Florida man arrested for dinner complaints. For what? Dinner complaints. Dinner compl- complaints. He, he was complaining, complaining about, about his dinner, th- yeah. so he got arrested. Yeah. Uh Okay. How Florida- how much do you have to complain? About dinner to get well, arrested. Well, apparently, nine one one is not the number to call if you're concerned about your food size being too small. <laughs> apparently, <laughs> when you know your servings are too small for the price you just paid, nine one one is not 9-1-1 the number. Nine one one is not no. the right place to call. No, it's not. Um, but but he, he called twice to complain about the size of his meal served to him at some, I guess, crabby seafood shack, wherever that is. Um, yeah. Oh my goodness! Please tell the newspaper he complained. The complained the claims he was eating were so small that he didn't want to pay for them. And of course, you know, um, yeah, he was arrested. Of course, you know, um, but he was not taken to jail. You know, he had a court appearance and you know (laughs) so but the moral of the story is you know if you have a complaint they have those comment cards you can go on facebook you can complain but 911 911 is not they take that serious that's funny and so that's that's pretty much my news i kind of summed it up but um have you heard now i'm I'm switching gears here i'm going i'm going towards apple Oh, okay, Have Apple. You heard, so this ha- is weird news, or is this just Th- this tech is, news? This is tech news. Tech, okay, tech, 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 tech. We should tech, have tech. totally have a tech news section. I am. We should do that. Uh, have you heard about Apple's facing lawsuits? Uh, is is, it, is this the uh, is this the um, the the iOS actually slows down older phones? Yes, sir. That is amazing. Isn't that, that something? That is a thing. I know. And I just bought my iPhone, so you know it's like, hey, 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 join the club, join the slow club. I know. I was, I thought I was going to be the cool kid, but now I'm going to be the slow kid. <laughs> <laughs> well, and now the thing is, I have not read anywhere where it says how far back it goes. Like, is there like, if your phone is two or three generations old, it's and and my understanding is, it has something to do with battery life. Yeah. That it slows down the old phone so it saves battery life, which I think is slightly yeah. bogus because my two year old iPhone before I replaced it had horrible battery life. Yeah. So I'm thinking it either wasn't slowed down enough to save battery life, or I don't want to think about what it would have been if they had run it at the proper speeds. Yeah, they were talking about uh there was an update last year. Uh, they were talking about the iPhone 6, uh, iPhone 7, iPhone SE. Uh, they were talking about uh, to smooth out what they call a power supply from batteries that are cold, old, and low on charge. Uh, Apple, I have one thing to suggest. Let people replace their batteries. Uh, that would be amazing. 
you know, don't, you you like locking, you know, you want to lock everything, that's fine, but let people replace the battery. Yep. Why do I, I totally I, agree. I don't want to pay 75 bucks for someone to put a new battery in because they know how to pop open the case and yeah. I don't want to go to ifix.com and follow what they say <laughs> and, and then totally your warranty. avoid my warranty. Yeah. Uh, and uh, you know, it's totally, I mean, they, I mean, that's why they, you know, they force Apple care on you. And yeah. unfortunately, if, you know, most people, they, they bite and yep. because that's really the only way you're good at fix. Now there's some third party out there, you know, have some other groups out there you yeah. know, who will do that kind of stuff. Well, but, I will say this when I went from my, uh, iPhone six plus, uh, to my iPhone eight plus the speed was ridiculous. The, the, the speed difference yeah, was amazing. And I was never so happy. Now I'm like, was my six just perfectly fine? Six plus. Yeah. Was yeah. it perfectly fine in just being throttled? Well, and that's the thing. I mean, I, you know, I know that usually the life cycle for most Apple products is about four years. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, and, and I guess for PC, you know, it's maybe a little bit longer. You can upgrade stuff, but yeah. not too far out because of, of software. Yeah. But, yeah. I, I. But most of the phone cell phone market is going the way of Apple, where, you know, it's you might be able to put a extra um, SD card in, maybe. Yeah. But, you know, you don't – most most other – most Android devices, newer Android devices, the good, high quality, yeah, high end ones, you you can't change the batteries out anymore. Yeah, I know, I know. Uh, yeah, everything's proprietary. They don't want you yeah. to mess with it. It just basically, I'm gonna tell you what. It's I'm looking at payments on getting a new phone, and especially for a family, you're almost paying for a. Uh, more paying for a loan on a car. Oh, I know. It's ridiculous. Yep. It's crazy. So, anyway, I was just I just wanted to see if you had any thoughts on that, if you heard of that and uh, I I had and I think I think it's a little ridiculous. Um I'm impressed that they came forward and said yes, it is true. Um I wonder how far back that has gone. I I have always told people in passing that if you have an Apple device, feel free to update the iOS. But once you're about, once your phone is about two or three generations behind the big number, like I have an I, iPhone 6, but we're on iOS 10, probably you don't want to upgrade your iOS. Yeah, you were telling me that. Now, if you don't, you're going to constantly be bombarded by <clears throat> by apps up, that say they can't install update, their updates. Update, update. Yes, you update. are. Yes, you are. Then you update. I can't update. And and my phone, I don't use Apple Pay. I don't plan on using Apple Pay. Not but me. my phone is constantly telling me, "Hey, you need to finish setting up your phone by setting up Apple Pay." Oh yeah, it's. Like I got enough ways to spend money. I, I don't need, need Apple help. Pay. Yeah, Amazon has all my money. <laughs> Pretty much so. Well, there's that. Yeah. So yeah, but there's actually a, a class action suit against um, uh, against Apple. So, so yeah, I could you, get ones of dollars out of that. I don't know. I mean, uh, seeking a class action to represent potentially millions of iPhone owners nationwide. Oh, millions uh, of owners. That's that's. That's ones of dollars. I know. I know. <laughs> well, I mean, uh, I can understand. I mean, that's that would be something you would want to disclose. Yeah, yeah. I mean, and I, I think it's absurd what uh, their excuse, you know. That it's to save battery life. Yeah, I, I think that's so stupid. I think so, too. I mean, that's just, um, you know, it's almost seemed like they had that in the back of their pocket just in case. Yeah. Something happens. You know what? We better we better get all our ducks in a row. We That's know right. what to say when they catch us because they're going those, to. Those Apple people, they'll buy anything <laughs> with an apple on it. Um, no, I mean, besides that, I mean, I love my uh, iPhone 8 Plus. It's, you know, and I don't know. I can't figure out how current 
it is. I mean, if it affects the very current phones and how far back it goes, because there was an article somewhere saying um, something about how you can look at look up something on your phone to see whether or not uh, it's affected by it or not. The battery, oh, yeah. yeah. So, but huh. yeah, interesting. So, anyway, so interesting. Give it up to Apple. You know, give <sighs> it up to them. So, I, uh, you know, I am a British TV enthusiast oh, yes. of sorts. Yes, sir. So, I'm super excited that Top Gear, the British, the the BBC yes. car show, is supposed to be coming back in 2018. That's right. Uh, they had like a, a, a little teaser trailer um, they put out just a few days ago, but they're from everything I've found, I can't find a firm date yet. A lot of people are saying March or April, which I'm excited for because uh, I liked the last season. I thought it was good. Um, and I think the three guys they have on there are solid. So I think if they get this season under their belts and it's still good, I think it'll go for a while. Um, but uh, so Christmas Day, Doctor Who, because I'm a huge Doctor Who fan. Yes, you are. And we have a new Doctor. We do a new doctor in the house. Yeah, new doctor, doctor in the house. In the house, and she is fascinating. She, she, interesting. She is fascinating. Um, as with all first time doctors, she got one line, and the TARDIS went into a crash, which that's pretty much the standard trope for the last three doctors. Is the new doctor shows up, he gets one line. And then the TARDIS explodes and does weird things, and it's going to crash. So, <laughs> so we don't really know what it's going to be like yet. Okay. I have high hopes. I My only fear is I've only seen her in one thing, one show. And she didn't have a super strong character. Um, she was seemed like a good actress, which gives me high hopes. But her um, that particular character was um, very emotionally unstable for the most part because she had serious bad things. Now, to be fair, that was designed into the character. She had horrible, horrible things happen to her in that show. Um, but um, so I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful. Yeah. Well, now we went to go see the movies. There was a trailer. And it was Doctor Who related. Do you know anything about that? Oh, that they were the the um the Christmas special or is it the Christmas special was going to play in theaters? I think it was the Christmas special was going to play in theaters, and uh, I watched it on TV. I yeah. don't I don't watch that stuff on no. in doesn't the movie seem theater. doesn't seem right to me those kind of shows. I I get the idea of going and hanging out with a bunch of fans and watching it, but I'm like. Mm. I do that at home. I'm gonna I'm gonna see the entire rest of this series on a TV. Yeah, I think I'll just watch that one on a TV. I don't know. I'm just I have never gotten into going to see things in a movie theater that weren't movies. I feel like I'm so. I've seen Doctor Who just a couple of times that um, I mean, I was confused so much I stopped watching because <laughs> I don't know it, any of the premise whatsoever. And it so, is an acquired taste, and yeah. it does take a while to get enough knowledge to know what's going on. Yeah, and uh, I will say the the uh, uh, the non spoiler uh, version. Um, if we have any Doctor Who fans out there, <coughs> was there were several cool call outs in the Christmas episode to some random obscure things. From way back, uh, in in like 1980s Doctor Who. Oh, yeah. So uh, it was it was kind of cool, you know. How far back does it go? <clears throat> um, uh, 60s. Oh wow. Yeah. So the first Doctor was uh, in the 60s. That's that's going to be a really big binge watch for me. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, I have a hard enough time trying to get through NCIS up to the. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah. Well. Yeah. I wouldn't. I wouldn't even. I would not even encourage. Yeah. That. I wouldn't. Yeah. The, the opening. The opening scene for the Christmas episode, because the Christmas episode is the first Doctor and the current Doctor together. Okay. Um, now, obviously, it's not the the first Doctor guy because he passed away um, in like the seventies. 
Uh, but so it's somebody who's dressed up like him. But it's supposed to be the first doctor. The opening credit is the opening uh, slide is previously on Doctor Who, and then you see a sh- then you see a black screen and it says seven hundred and nine episodes ago. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. <clears throat> and and I don't know. I, I didn't bother to look it up to see what it meant. I don't know if that's 709, what they called serials, like yeah. 709 stories or actually episodes. Because back in the day, there would be like a full story would be like two weeks long. Oh, yeah. Which they don't tend to do that anymore. They tend to do a full story in one hour now. Yeah. Uh, but and and then every once in a while they have it to be continued. But back in the sixties, seventies, and eighties, most of the time, it, every every full story was two two full hours. But uh, they would split it up into two weeks. Oh, that's okay. That makes sense. Yeah. Not like now. Because the BBC, they really involved. I mean, they they do things different. Definitely, definitely yeah. do it different. I mean, w- one thing I noticed they. And we talked about this before. They shorten their time uh, or lengthen their time, lengthen their time just randomly. Yeah. So, and but, they'll have a short season or a yeah. long season, and there's no rhyme or reason for why they do it. Yeah. I don't know. I, so far, the stuff that I've seen in that format, usually it's quality stuff. Yeah. I, I will say, I, I think the nice thing about BBC shows is they are not slaves to commercials. Yeah. So if they feel like, a show needs an extra five minutes, they give it an extra five minutes. If they feel like a show needs five minutes less, they'll just cut it. Yeah. <laughs> well, and, I mean, and they're yeah. okay with that. Yeah. Which, which that's kind of the, that's kind of the cool thing about like Netflix, uh, original shows and Amazon prime original shows. Yeah. If it needs to be 42 minutes, it can be 42 minutes. But if the story really calls for it to be 49 minutes, they can do that and they're okay. And I appreciate it. I, I do too. Appreciate it. It ma- it makes for better uh, better quality. <sighs> How are we doing on time? We are. It's about that time. Is it about that time? Yeah, because I took that phone call and that wasted like a minute. Okay, we can either leave it in or cut it, but yeah, I think it's. I don't know. Pretty much the show. Yeah. Anything can happen. Yeah, anything so, can happen. Never know what's going to happen around here. Well, crazy things. We're coming up on New Year, so if we don't. You know, you don't hear from us before. Happy New Year's, everybody. Happy New Year's. And this is the Something About Nothing show with my friend, Mr. Ricky, the Awakening Force. Hope, 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 <laughs> hope. Yeah, I should have just left it alone. Yeah. Anyway. And, and Mike, the last Jedi. Yeah. Shilling. That's right. He was just going to vanish right now. Say it. Thank you. <laughs>